out at the 2018 CCMAs with the Washboard Union. How are you guys? Really great, really, really great. great, thanks. Now, last time I saw you, Boots and Hearts, that was a pretty cool experience to see you guys perform on the big stage there, and the fans loved it. What was that like for you? Yeah, you know, I, I took an earpiece out for that, um, that last song for Shot of Glory, and um, just to hear, you know, 30, 40,000 people singing back the words to your song, there's nothing that beats that feeling, like nothing in the world. Just It gives me shivers just talking about it. So, uh, I mean, that was a very special moment that I'll never forget. Absolutely. And we're at the CCMAs. This is my first time here, but it's so cool to see just the camaraderie of the Canadian country music industry. What are you guys most excited for this weekend at the CCMAs? Well, I would be lying if I didn't say we're excited about playing on the big show. And we've got some pretty incredible little surprises in store. And, and just being back here, we're reminded of how good this family has been to us. We've been fortunate enough not only to be nominated, but to have won in the past. And um, we're seeing a lot of the artists who are in the rising star category, and we're pulling for all of them. It's just so incredible. So it's such a thrill to be back here, see old friends, and, and get to play for our fans here in Hamilton. To Chris's point, we, we came to our first CCMA three years ago. We weren't invited, but we showed up anyway, and we have been embraced by this CCMA family. Like, it's an unbelievable experience. It's such a great family. Are you, do you guys have a favorite memory from the CCMAs over the years, one that sticks out? I'm, I'm sure there's a lot. <laughs> well, you know, that, that first moment when we, were, when we received our Rising Star um, um, award, not just the nomination, but the award, uh, that was a really surreal moment because we'd never really won an award like that before. And so it, it, when I remember the words coming through the speakers and just sort of being like, is that real or is it not? It felt like a dream or like some sort of foggy, you know, thing. But anyways, the next thing you know, you're in front of the stage and in front of the people thanking them. And you're doing that acceptance speech that you watch on TV when, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, oh, there they are doing an acceptance speech. What's that got to be like? And was it as nerve wracking as I would think that it would be? Yeah. 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 And yeah. there was a moment just before we played last year where the, the, you know, they start counting you down and uh, kind of look over at these two and, and you let it sink in for a second like this is a very big moment and we're about to play our song on national television for the first time. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Remember the words. Yeah, I know. I feel like that would happen to me. I'd be like, do I know the song that I'm singing? The Washboard Union on Complete Country. 